are you already tired of shots like these? And you would like to know how to shoot shots like Ronaldo, Messi, Haaland and so. So this tutorial is for you. Hello my friends, this is second episode of our short tutorial series and in this episode we're gonna deal with shots. So start with the first thing and it is how to shoot better. As I mentioned in the last tutorial, there is a delay in the game. So when I want to approach shot, I need to let go of buttons earlier than I want to do that shot. I'll show you with the basic shot what is left mouse button and from the further distance I approach the ball should go higher. So it means when I let go from the button from further distance it go higher when I will let go of my button later then it goes lower. Theoretically it's a TPS and it's sometimes because of the delay <laughs> act wordly but you can learn some timing and then most of your shots will be consistent for high shots or low shots if you want. But there are different tips, I will show that later. So I want to go for high shots, so I will let go of my button probably somewhere here. And we can forget the ball curves. The ball curves with the basic shot to the opposite side of my selected foot. I can select foot with a alt left alt button. So when I have right foot, the ball will go to the left. So when I approach this ball, I need to aim a little bit next to goal, so it will curve to the actual goal. Okay, this should be higher shot. Now I will show you lower shot. So you basically again charge your shot, you run towards the ball and you let go of your button later. So the ball goes on the ground and now there is a way how to go even for a higher shot or when you want to go anything to go higher you do this so basically you click Q in the shoot tool all right I will show you that from approximately the same distance so when I go for a shot, I will charge it, then when I hit the ball, I will keep click Q. And it goes my much higher. So then when I want to make sure it will be ground shot, I will click after F button. It makes it go low. So we have here three different types of a basic shot. So first is basic, basic shot. <laughs> so what we already did here, it curves to the opposite side of a selected foot, right? We saw that. Then we have here the second time and the trivial shot. So it curves to the side of a selected foot and you do it by holding right mouse button. Then charge your shot and you only let go of your left mouse button. So it curves to the same side. And there is the third type of your basic shot and it's a knuckleball. So the ball goes almost straight forward and it curves in the end. It's really good to confuse goalies. And you do it by holding your middle mouse button, then you charge and again just let go of the left mouse button. Did you see it went this way and in the end it started the curve. And now I will give you the tips for a short and long distance shot. For a close shot you want to do volley, burnaldo or even a ground shot is good. But you need to aim it properly. So the first and easy shot is a ground shot and you basically go with your LMB button and click F. And it goes nice legs. And it goes on the ground. And the second type is a volley, but you need to position yourself properly because when you go straight to the ball, it 
doesn't react properly. So you actually want to hit the ball with your foot. So when I am on the right foot, I will go near the ball or next ball. And then it reacts properly. And the third type, the hardest from these, but I think it's still pretty easy to learn for newbies, is Bernardo. You need to aim yourself properly because it goes like in a 45 degrees angle, approximately. And you do it by charging your shot button and you click EF and instantly after you click F you will let go of your mouse button. But you can click EF pretty fast because that it doesn't react. So you go like this, I will probably angle myself like this and I go EF. And then you saw it went straight to the goal is the most powerful shot from close range is the hardest from these but it's worth it to learn it for long shots every of those three basic shot types are really good and then we have some let's say let's call it special shots in my opinion the best behind the box is eq combo it's like a stronger body and you basically run to the ball you need to angle yourself a bit you don't need to be next to ball too much and you click EQ in a row I missed the goal but you got the point I'm lazy to do it more and for even longer distances it's really good to go for a left mouse button and Q combo so you approach you so you just approach you you, you can, you. So you approach the ball and do shoot, shoot Q. But you need to angle it a little bit more next to goal because it will curve much more from longer distance. You can do the same with the long tool. It will have a little bit higher lob and you will do it by charging your long and then when you approach the ball you will click 1 and Q. You see it has little bit higher lob. I think these are the basic shots for long distance and they are advanced shots. I don't know many of them to be honest and they and those are pretty hard to do. So for example you can do something like this, you can pre-charge your shot, then click dribble and when you approach the ball you will click flick and hit the ball in the air. But that's for advanced tutorial. And the last thing what I want to show you are basic shots for free kicks. You can do shot cue combo, but in this situation when the defenders are defending or making a wall, it's better to go for a long cue because it will make a lob above them. First I will go with the shot cue so you will see. I hit the defenders and now I will go with the long. You see? And I actually almost hit the goal. And this is all what I wanted to show you in a basic shot tutorial. I think I helped to somebody. And if I did, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like. I will really appreciate that. Bye in the next video. And we will deal with the dribbles.